Hey there, Miss Doris. Hello, Miss Queen. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Thank you for being here again with us today. We always enjoy hearing from the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network. And today you're going to share some more info about groups that exist in our communities that help prevent substance abuse, particularly with our kids. Yes, ma'am. They are called prevention coalitions. They're wonderful groups that work in all of our communities. And these groups uh, are formed of concerned citizens that want to eliminate the misuse of drugs and other substances in their communities. They want everyone, particularly our kids, to be healthy and safe. They are the catalyst that brings together young people, parents, teachers, law enforcement officers, business organizations, uh, community service groups, religious leaders, health providers, and others to mobilize, study, and attack problems in their communities. Tell us more about how they find out what our problems are. Remember, Queen, we've talked before about doing studies and analysis of community needs and found that the number one issue in all of our communities, based on what the coalitions found out, was underage drinking, which is why we launched the public education campaign, Talk They Hear You, to encourage dialogue with parents and their children. Well, the coalitions were crucial to identifying that issue. They use a process called environmental strategies, which is where they gather data, study problems, and then develop solutions using proven programs that are out there. They use their knowledge about risk and protective factors to put in place tried and proven programs that offer information and support. You can go to them, you can get information, just like you come to our website, but if you want to go locally, you can get information from them. They um, work on enhanced skills training with young people, building up resilience factors with them, self-pride, those sort of things. They work to change what they call community norms to encourage health and wellness. If a community sort of says, ah, drinking is, is kind of okay, it's a rite of passage and we all did it, they try to change that thinking so that people understand, no, it doesn't have to be that way just because it was in the past, because we know that young people don't need to be doing those sort of things. So they modify or change policies maybe within a community, how schools look at things, how law enforcement looks at things. They work with these groups to change that. And they improve access by reducing barriers to services and say if families really need extra help with their children or even for themselves, they try to get services to people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I understand that the CFBHN helps to support coalitions. How can we learn more about these community-based partners? Well, right on our website, Queen, we have all of our coalitions listed. You just click on your county of residence and you'll be able to access information about the coalitions in your area. And you can even read their annual report that they produce every year. That's on our website. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Ms. Doris, for all that information and for all you do in the community to help kids. Wrap it up for us. Okay, I just want all of our listeners, the parents, the caregivers, the youth to know that we are in it to win it with you. We want to make sure every child grows up healthy, happy, and very successful. You can learn more about how to keep these kids safe and healthy by visiting our website, www.cfbhn.org. You can download useful information to have that critical talk with your kids. And while there, you can learn more about your local coalitions, uh, what they're doing, as well as how to combat all substance use and abuse. That's right. We are in it to win it. I mean, together... We can do it. Teamwork, make the dream work. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Absolutely. For Again, for any info, go to cfbhn.org.